Hi, I'm Artificial Intelligence host of Pro Robots YouTube channel and I tell you news about robots and AI. Google has unveiled an algorithm that will outshine ChatGPT and help create intelligent robots. The global boom of universal humanoid robots, incredible biotechnological advances, micro-robots in the human body, new space spider robots, domestic robots and other high-tech news in one video. Off we go! Next on the agenda, we have Elon Musk showing two of his robots assembling a third one, followed by the figure startup's immediate claim that their robot is better and is overall the coolest in the world. We talked about this in detail in one of our previous videos, check the description and the link in the info card. The Sanctuary AI humanoid robot, which has long been teasing us with numerous YouTube videos, has apparently been tested at the Canadian Marks clothing retail chain. It's reported that Sanctuary was successful at performing various tasks usually assigned to human workers. The robot was controlled by a human, so no workplace was harmed during the testing. All in all, the bot successfully performed about 110 different operations, though what's the point if it can't work autonomously? The startup's goal is to create a general-purpose robot, however, without artificial general intelligence, the task is nearly impossible. Meanwhile, the Canadian government keeps investing to stay in the game on par with other countries. An AI researcher's team from Google and the Technical University of Berlin has unveiled PA-LME, a multimodal vision language model featuring 562 billion parameters. It uses both visuals and speech to control robots. The developers claim it to be the largest algorithm of this kind ever created and that it can perform multiple tasks without overtraining. Essentially, Google's PA LME is a universal robo-brain that receives human commands in natural language. And yes, the similarities to ChatGPT are obvious. According to Google, when PA LME receives a high-level command such as get me rice chips from the box, it can generate an action plan for a mobile robotic platform equipped with an arm that will then perform the task without any human involvement. PA LME manages its tasks by analyzing the camera data, including dynamic changes. However, the Google researchers claim to have observed several interesting effects that appear to be related to a large language model at the core of PA LME. First, there is positive transfer, or the ability to accumulate knowledge and skills while working on tasks and use them in the next ones. Second, as stated by the engineers, POT LME features new functions such as a multimodal chain of reasoning and multi-image output. Google researchers now plan to further explore applications of POT LME for real-world tasks such as home automation or industrial robotics. We look forward to seeing more examples of the algorithm's work. Scientists from South Korea have created a MINA robot that enters blood vessels, performs the necessary surgical procedures such as clearing blocked arteries, and returns to the extraction spot. The iRamen robot is controlled by magnets. Before injecting the robot, scientists make a 3D map of the patient's blood vessels surrounding the blocked area. The robot uses the map to navigate autonomously. The catheter delivers the robot into the blood vessel while an external magnetic field is used for creating a rotational motion to untether the robot from the catheter. The external magnetic field is then used to guide the robot to the treatment spot, relying on a 3D map to navigate. Amazing, isn't it? Next, on to the bioengineering news. Engineers at the University of New South Wales have created a robot able to 3D bioprint directly on organs and tissues inside the human body. The F3DB multifunctional 3D bioprinter has a soft print head with a high degree of freedom integrated into a flexible robotic arm that delivers multilayer biomaterials to internal organs and tissues. The device functions on the master-slave architecture and is controlled by a kinematic inversion model and learning-based controllers different kinds of gels can be used for printing. Swedish scientists have designed a technology that allows to grow electrodes directly in living tissues. This may change the integration methods of electronic circuits, including brain implants. 
to create soft electronically conductive materials in living tissues, a special gel containing enzymes as the assembly molecules is injected into the body. Contact with body substances changes the gel structure and makes it electrically conductive. There is no need for genetic modification or external signals such as light or electrical energy. Using the new technology, engineers were able to grow electrodes in the brain, heart and tail fins of danio fish. The material didn't cause any immune reactions and didn't affect the normal functioning of the body systems. Lastly, we have engineers at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology who have created a 3D printable robotic heart. The soft and flexible replica matches a patient's heart in size and shape and allows to tailor the treatment according to the personal structural characteristics and heart diseases. Building a three-dimensional computer mode helps to adjust the size and shape of such an artificial organ for each patient. When the model is ready, the heart is simply printed with the use of special polymer-based ink. This produces a soft, flexible shell with the exact shape of the patient's heart. The aorta can be printed additionally. Sarco's technology announced that it has successfully completed the final verification of its outdoor autonomous manipulation of photovoltaic panels. The project, by the way, was funded by the U.S. Department of Energy, and its goal is to create a robotic system for building solar fields. Such a system should deliver, detect, lift, and place photovoltaic modules in an open field. A key element of the Sarco solution was a drone with the Guardian XM robotic system on board and an additional autonomous delivery vehicle. Wing, which is developing its own drone delivery network, has introduced auto loader stations. These should make the delivery faster and easier. The stations take up exactly one parking space and include a small loading mechanism as well as a hanging place for the order. The main part of the device is the pair of long guiding arms that allows the drones to hover over the stations. When the drone is in place, the autoloader attaches the order to the drone's hook, then it takes off and flies away without human involvement. The stations consume no power, and they don't require connection for data transfer. The Bioinspired and Medical Robotics Laboratory at Ben Gurion University of the Negev has presented its Amphi SAW robot. The developers claim it to be one of the fastest amphibious robots in the world. But that's not the only remarkable thing about it. The robot is powered by a single motor which allows it to mirror the way flippers move in water, making it the most energy-efficient robot. The Amphi SAW also has a biosafe movement mechanism enabling it to swim among fish without repelling them. The robot can be used for search and rescue operations, e.g., in flooded areas, as well as for monitoring and robotic aquaculture. The University of California, Berkeley, has shared a video of teaching its Cassie robot to jump. Long jumps, high jumps, jumps off, and on the obstacles. To train the robot to perform dynamic jumps without losing balance, engineers applied the multi-step reinforcement learning approach. The developer's long-term goal is to create a universal training policy that will help any bipedal robot become more agile in real life. Unitree Robotics has shared a new video of its B1 robot, designed to help it fire sites and disaster areas. The robot's laser radar scans the environment in real time, registers sounds and, using infrared light, detects key signs of life. The robot operator also receives real-time images of the area recorded with a 360-degree camera, helping firefighters and rescuers make the right decisions. The B1 can also carry rescue equipment, delivering it to the victim before people can reach them. The German Research Center for Artificial Intelligence has announced the completion of an ANT guidance, navigation and control system for a legged robot intended to explore other planets. Final tests confirm the system's capabilities to work on loose, unstructured and sloped terrain. To keep its balance, the robot utilizes the visual adaptation mechanic based on a very frequent assessment of the free of drift posture and a constantly updating map. The robot also adds information about the surface structure changes to the map and performs a stability assessment of the next support point before using it. We can't wait to see these robots somewhere on the moon. P1 
PAL Robotics has shared the progress of its Taigo robot as part of the ALMI program, funded by York University's Assuring Autonomy International program. The goal of the program is to train robots to help sick and elderly people at their homes. To accomplish its mission, Taigo used both speech interaction and object manipulation capabilities to help users with mild motor and cognitive impairments prepare meals and take care of themselves in their day-to-day -day lives. The robot is also reportedly trained for a proper emergency response. Hippo Harvest, a startup that uses robots to grow greens, has begun selling its crops on Amazon. Their innovative technology for growing lettuce reduces water use by 90% and requires 55% less fertilizer. The robotic farms also don't require large areas of land. Hippo Harvest reportedly uses machine learning to optimize lighting, watering, and other parameters to consider. The RoboFarm's closed greenhouses also allow them to give up on pesticides. Join our community on Telegram, subscribe to the channel, like the videos, and stay tuned for new episodes from the world of high-tech. Dear friends, subscribe us and view us off to our robot YouTube channel. We are pleased to inform you that after a long struggle, our YouTube channel has been monetized again, and we are preparing to resume the release of new videos in the same amount. We want to thank everyone who supported us in this difficult period. Also, if you like our content and want us to release more videos about robots, artificial intelligence, and other high-tech news, you can support us on Patreon. You will find more information in the description below this video. We look forward to seeing you again and your feedback on the new format. See you soon.